Hey everybody, welcome to another video of Muddy Reviews. It's going to be my first bit of kit review. And this is a Dutch Molly Operator's Vest. Or, well, I can't speak Dutch for shit, so... Modulaire, that word I don't even know, complete Netherlands woodland, blah, 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 NSN Army. Got this off McGuire Army Navy off of eBay, $29.99, free shipping. And it came in about uh, five, six days, came in pretty quick. I love operator vests. I love the waistcoat vests. I've always been a big fan of the British, the British style ops waistcoats. And what made me go for this rig was I recently did a blood diamond build of a car 15 style rifle and I wanted a wanted a lightweight breathable modular vest that I think would look appropriate for like a PMC ish type situation and like you know I don't know Africa the jungle something to that effect just totally fictitious nothing realistic and I saw this and it just spoke to me because I'm a huge fan of the Norwegian bear vest by far one of my favorite rigs so let's just jump into this rig and I've got a Norwegian bear vest here to kind of compare to so right out the gate great stitching on the pals webbing um, I do like the material it's a nice olive mesh which is going to make it very breathable as you can see it's got a shock cord it's got a shock cord adjuster Instead of um, like 550 or something that effect. So it's going to be uh, a little more give. A little more adjustability for the girthier fellas. I'm not exactly a small dude. So that I do enjoy that. Not exactly sure what these loop inner loops are for. I'm assuming for like a belt maybe you can run with this. And I have no idea what this is for. I'm going to have to do some research. But uh, it's got loop on the outside and snap buttons. I'm assuming it's for some sort of subload and a fast text behind it. So definitely want to do it. And then, uh, well, actually, there's a little bit of hook and loop here. I did not notice before. So it kind of hooks in on itself. Not sure what that's for. Probably some sort of subload. Kind of interesting. It hooks together in the front with three fast hex, which I'll be showing you in a second. It's got these inner um, gross grain ribbon one inch PALS loops too, which I found to be kind of interesting. Not really sure what those were for. Do some digging and research to find out. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me if they're familiar with uh, Netherlands tactical gear. Shoulder adjustments are uh, a mixture of one inch with tri-glides and hook and loop, which is kind of nice. Got an additional label here. This tells you it's uh, NSN and the type, so, and the size, size large. Like a lot of these style vests, I did like this. It has a uh, cordage pull tab on the zipper. Other vests of these types I've noticed don't have these, which I do like that. If I was operating this with more than one hand, it would be more beneficial. I'd be able to pull that down much quicker. Like most vests of its type, these unzip to large compartments where you could store, I don't know, maps, um, cut down MREs, whatever items you would need. It's kind of like a little GP space close to the body. You've got an exact duplicate of that on this side. Same type of pull on the zipper, which is nice. And a lot of other ops vests I've had in the past have a holster internally from like Arctis, uh, the UK, even Australia. This does not. And I actually like that because I never used them anyway. I've always found them to be kind of a waste of space or something that has kind of gotten in the way. Back of the vest. 
Got a nice PALS range here. Putting on um, something like a Yodi or just a hydration. If I ever could find a uh, beaver tail in OD, would love to throw one on this rig. I'm a really big fan of beaver tails. Again, I was talking about the adjustment points here. This is nice flexible shock cord. And the adjuster is actually nice too. It's a push button and slide. Pretty nice. And you guys see lower D rings. And again, simple glide. Not sure what those subload attachments are for. I'm assuming some sort of belt kit. And then you've got a drag handle up here that Velcros into place to stay out of the way and uncumbersome. Quite a nice bit of kit. Very similar to, well, at first glance, I thought it was extremely similar to the Norwegian bear vest. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way and bring over the Norwegian bear vest. So this is a Norwegian bear vest. It is similar. It's got the three uh, Fastex buckle toggles. And it's got the internal, you know, zipper pocket like that. First thing I like, notice about the Norwegian bear that I like a little better than this Netherlands vest is the fact that it's got a continuous piece of material that goes all the way along the internal of the mesh. And so as where it has the same kind of cordage looping system to adjust the size it, internally, that material will just kind of fold in on itself to make it smaller or bigger. But it's just one continuous piece of material. I actually kind of like that a little better. You don't have that space. That's just a personal preference. And the back on the bear is a little thinner, just large enough for a bladder. I mean, that is... For me, I like it because it works better with a pack. But then again, on the Netherlands rig, kind of like the Molly a little better. Uh, the NFM bear, kind of nice. It's got these uh, little storm, storm flaps on the pouches. I mean, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail on this rig because this is not a review of this rig. But, like I said, similar, but not the same. I think, honestly, this Netherlands rig has more um, similarities with, uh, pardon the floppiness of the video. I think this Netherlands rig honestly has more similarities with the British Ops vest than it does the Norwegian Bear. And I look forward to getting a Molly Osprey vest or a Molly British vest to compare. Overall, my initial feeling on this vest is for 29 bucks, cannot beat that price. It is a steal. Material is nice, well made. And for a piece of surplus, I mean, it's obviously this was never issued. And if it was, it was never used. The guy must have had it and then turned it back into the, their uh, version of SIF and then it went into the surplus market. All the stitching is top notch. I mean, that bar tacking is really nice. <clears throat> There's no holes or tears. All the buckling. I mean, it's, it's good stuff. It's really nice. National molding buckles. This is a quality piece of kit. I'm really happy with my purchase. If you're looking for a LBV that's going to give you some breathability and the ability to molly a wide range of pouches and give you the ability to carry a wide range of equipment and that will fit over plate carrier soft armor, I think this would be a good ticket for you. Definitely check it out. I mean, for 29 bucks. You really can't beat the price to just grab it, let it go, you know, get it, mess with it. And if it doesn't work, you really didn't lose a lot of money. Always resell it. So 
Hope this review was helpful. If you have any uh, comments, questions, concerns, gripes, bitches, complaints, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for viewing. Catch y'all in the next video. Take care.